brother from all over America. Cause this is Battle Machine's only racer search all year, yo! The winner wins today earns the right to step up to the big time Battle Machine races. If street racing's your thing, Battle Machine is where you prove you can run with the best. Hey, who knows, one of these drivers could be the next street king, you know what I'm saying? Alright, it's time to go people, come on! The finals will be starting in just a little bit. But first, check it out. You've seen them in the DVDs, you've seen the magazine covers, and seriously, all the racers would kill for his crown. Leo Watanabe, people! The showdown king! Thank you so much for coming out today. Everyone here at Battle Machine is super psyched you could be here. Yeah, you know, I ran a lot of street races too. Until I went something like this. Yeah, it was my ticket to the big time. Still, I have to get back to such small races. Well, if you yeah. Like, oh yeah, check it out. There's Ryan Cooper in that green S13. He's been on fire today. That dude's definitely a Battle Machine prospect. I don't know how to know about this Cooper guy. Uh, he never would have cut it back in the day. They must have really lowered the standards this year. Hey, I'm not gonna stick up for Cooper. His driving's gotta do all the talking. Okay, okay. These dudes are looking ready. Every one of them is exceeding for the win. Because this, this is the big one. The winner of this race gets an invite to the big time battle machine race. So come on, Chicago. Shut down. Make some noise.
He did not look pretty behind the wheel. It, 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 it physically pained me to watch that guy drop, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how he made it. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, well, thanks for helping us out, Rio. It's been real. Oh, folks, Cooper has crushed today. The dude just totally dominated. Oh, yeah, Cooper's coming up. I'm saying it. Welcome to Battle Machine. This is your first challenge weekend. Challenges are the true test of your skills. No need to bring your whip. Battle Machine is providing all of them. Just uh, don't ask where they got them. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, to level the playing field, every car has been hand-tuned equally. The cars are ready. All you got to do is drive. If you wreck, you do not have to sweat the repairs. Yo, Battle Machine Mechanics will fix any damage you take. <laughs> Up to a point. If you total a car, it's done for the whole weekend. You total all your cars and uh, you're heading home, homie. The only rule you need to remember is that winning isn't enough. You gotta dominate. You earn points by racing. The better you do, the more points you get. Earn enough points and you'll dominate the weekend. Manage to get that far without totaling out and you'll walk away with a new ride. <laughs> and let me also mention that we've got Ryan Cooper out there today. This is his first big uh, quote unquote legal race. This guy's got mad skills. He's been street racing for a hot minute and he totally just dominated a battle machine qualifier. From what I saw him at that race, this guy's gonna be doing some killer things. Okay, grip races have a ton of different types, but generally they're all about being the fastest car on the track. Grip races feature a bunch of drivers, all of them are gunning for the win, which makes for some dangerous moments. Fast reaction times will keep you in the race. When you're coming into tight corners, use the arrows and driving lines to pick the key spots to apply the brakes. Look for chances to pass other drivers, but try not to put yourself in a bad situation by passing in unsafe areas, you know what I'm saying? You know what they say, rubbing is racing and all that. You can intimidate the other drivers by trading paint with them. Be careful how much contact you make though, because your car gets damaged as well. The more damage you take, the more engine damage you take, which makes winning that much tougher. If you take too much damage, you risk even totaling your car, so be careful.
So we got a lot of newer guys get used to doing the battle sheet thing. Just because they're new though doesn't mean they're new to the game. I know some of them have some serious late night race now, if you know what I mean. Things are gonna heat up shortly, so uh, get ready. I got a Track proven race ready, you gotta bring it. We're gonna see how far they can actually take it. Track tournaments are all about posting the fastest times. 
tournaments consist of multiple runs on the track, right? So, while you're only gonna see one driver line up next to you, remember, there are a gang of other dudes competing too. Okay, to post fast times, you're gonna need to heat your tires to the perfect temp, and you're gonna do this in the staging area before each round. The goal in staging is to build as much grip as you can. You're gonna do this by holding your RPMs within the perfect staging zone as shown on the tag. The more grip you get in staging, the more traction you're gonna get going down to 1320. All right, this is important, homie, so listen up. Watch for the start signal and time your first shift to get a perfect launch. If you jump the gun, you'll be disqualified, so be careful. Nailing a shift in the perfect shift zone means you go faster and have a better chance to win. Hey, don't redline your car for too long or it'll totally grenade your engine, which will hurt your chances to win the tournament and it'll hurt your wallet. For an added challenge, why don't you try using the clutch and racing with a manual transmission. Okay, we're prime for round two on the court. With my crowd. Come on, people. These guys are gonna go all out, so you gotta run up here. There it is, there it is, my man. He's not Kubot. Turn it in. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. She's ready. Thumbs up, man. He's going to be a real contender today. So keep at least one eye on Yoshi. 